Santa Cruz Mountains off Swanton Road, the authorities have asked people to evacuate their homes. There's concerns just two months after big fires here about open slopes leading to mudslides. Those hillsides, once covered with trees and brush, lost that protection during the fires that struck this area in August. And with heavy rains being dumped on the landscape, slides are a real possibility. Sandbags are at the ready in case another threat hits. Flooded creeks, which are slow to rise, but could worsen if rain picks up hour by hour. Cal Fire is concerned debris clogging creeks further upstream could break, sending water and mud down the slope rapidly. That was enough for Dara McLean, who suffers from a knee injury and left home while it's still safe. If it happens, it happens. If it, stuff can be replaced, you know, so we just figure we leave it in the insurance company's problem, not ours. Others are staying, at least for now. Mathers Rowley says the slope above his home is considered solid, although he keeps an eye on Scott Creek, which passes through his property. I have a feeling that we're sitting in a little sliver of relative safety here as compared to some of the areas, other areas around the watershed. But for now, it's the threat of mudslides that raises the greatest concern. As the rain continues to push from the afternoon into the check, evening check. hours, authorities are going to continue to keep a close eye on slopes like this one to see if there are any mudslides in the offing. In the Santa Cruz Mountains, Craig Sklar, Crime 4 News. Of course, the storm creating problems all over the Bay Area. We're looking at video shot just a few hours ago in San Mateo. That big tree, look at the roots on that thing, crashing down on top of that house. And you're looking at radar on the right. And that's not all. We have a look at the best pictures from all over the Bay Area showing what happened as the storm moved through. High winds, drenching rains, the morning commute a mess. Low visibility, high water, roads boil slick after six months without rain. By noon, more than 200 serious accidents, including a deadly crash that closed Devil's Slide. <laughs> On the bay, a rough trip for ferry passengers. On shore, downed trees, broken power lines. Tens of thousands of people without power. PG&E crews got wet. Caltrans crews got wetter, trying to keep drains from clogging. Still, the water kept rising from Watsonville in the south, Antioch in the East Bay, and San Anselmo. The silver lining in all these dark clouds, the reservoirs are filling too.